Welcome back to Star Soaps channel. How are you today? I'm doing good. The sun has come out. Yay! Today I'm going to be making galaxy soap inspired by my galaxy highlights in my hair. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to be using an agate wear log that I made. So come along with me and I'll show you how I make it. Squee! So first things first, we're going to add our cooled lye water to our cooled oils and I have mulberry silk dissolved in my lye water and it's rainwater that I use and I get my lye as food grade as well. So I'm going to go ahead now and stick blend it a little and let you see the spiral of emulsification. But we really don't want to over mix and because once again we're going to be doing lots of different things and we don't want super thick soap early on. It's not going to do us any favours. So it helps to have a high quantity of liquid oils and it also helps to have everything at room temperature. And I'm just portioning off a little bit of soap here that's going to be used for another little project. Ooh, secret soapy project. So do stay tuned if you'd like to see what I'm doing because, you know, it might be interesting. So I'm going to go ahead now and give everything a nice mixy mix. Starting first with the jug of activated charcoal and in the jug with activated charcoal there's some fruit powder some dried banana powder and some dried orange powder all powders that I made by drying things in my dehydrator and then grinding them in a coffee grinder and they add lovely benefits to the skin and to, it makes the final soap just that little bit more luxurious so that's awesome I'm really stoked at how black that soap's come out and look at my cool wedding ring <laughs> tattoo wedding ring so cool so I would like to say now I'm sorry that I'm not wearing gloves but please remember that I have been soaping for five plus years now and I know how to be careful I will not burn myself but I do recommend that when you're beginning that you always always use your gloves and in fact I still always wear gloves when I am first putting the lye in and then when I am actually scraping the jugs because sometimes you can splash a little bit of raw soap onto your arms and that does hurt it irritates the skin so long sleeves and gloves are recommended and I'm sorry that I'm not doing that. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> so I'm just giving everything a bit of a mix, make sure it's all well incorporated and then I can come back through and add my scent and I'm using some lovely earthy scents in this one, some patchouli, some peppermint to lighten it, some cassia, which smells kind of cinnamony and it's just going to be quite a lovely earthy scented soap to go with the sort of galaxy theme if that makes sense and I'm just mixing those fragrances and essential oils in with a spatula I'm not using a stick blender again just using the spatula so now I've got a bunch of soap gratings from a previous batch, purple soap gratings, but they're just sort of a light purple, and I'm going to be using them to represent the stars in the night sky. So I'm putting all of them in, oh there's a lump, take that lump out, <laughs> and making sure that I get this really cool effect of like little little sparkles through the black because that's kind of like how the night sky looks. So in goes the black soap and with the soap shavings and I'll give that a bit of a mix around once I've scraped that jug clean because we don't want to waste any of that gorgeous soap. Oh, lovely. I think it's going to work out just how I want it to. I'm so excited. <laughs> and I'm making the agate wear. I've, I've made the agate wear log that I learned from Auntie Clara's technique. So if you want to know what I'm talking about, I'll leave a link below to the patchouli agate wear soap that I made. So you guys can check that out. And in that video, there's a link to her original blog post. So you can go and learn all about how she made her agate wear logs and what I'm talking about, if you don't know. <laughs> And now it is time for us to give the bench a nice wipe and mould our soaps. So I'm just going to go, f I'm putting in a little bit more of the shavings because I don't want them to get lost in the black. I'm trying to make them stand out and I'm going to go ahead and put all this beautiful soap into these moulds. So I am doing a double batch here and I did have to um, sort of keep in mind that there's the extra weight of the soap shavings and then there's also the extra weight of the agate wear logs themselves. So if I used as much oils and soap as I would normally, I would end up with way too much and I wouldn't actually be able to fit it all in the mould and have to go find other moulds and things. So I had to calculate the weight of those into it. So if you want to learn how to calculate the right 
oil them out for your molds then teach from soaping 101 has a really good video on that just search calculating well actually just go straight to soaping 101 search it on her um youtube site and if you like I can leave a link, just hit me up in a comment and I'll give you a link. So in goes these agate wear logs. Now as you can see, it did not work out as well for me this time. I had a real nightmare of a time making these agate wear logs. They didn't come out right at all and I was so frustrated. I don't think I'll really try this technique again, not on the scale. I'll probably do little agate wear logs like I did on the patchouli one if I ever want to do it again, but I don't think I'll ever bother trying to make big ones like this because what a nightmare. So now I'm actually just adding in some little slices of the blue and white soap right at the end there so that hopefully every bar gets something blue and white in it. And I'm just trying to like, you know, share it out evenly. <laughs> And um, then I'm going to go ahead and pour the rest of the soap in over on top and cover up those agate wear logs. I'm really excited to see how the soap turns out when I cut it. I hope it looks like what I imagined in my mind. But hey, if it doesn't, what have I, what have I lost really? It's not the end of the world. But it is really fun. It's a fun little project. I love doing arty things like this with my soaps. So I'm going to go ahead and do all the fancy pretty toppers now and treat you to a little bit of my original music while I do that. So I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Until I get home to you, to you, to you. You say we are better off this way. I had such faith. I'm so happy with how the tops came out. <laughs> We're back again the next day to cut the bars and they are a little bit sticky as you can see. But I really didn't want to wait too long because I have those embeds and so much of the soap is embeds. So the last thing that I wanted was for the embeds to not cut properly or for there to be trouble. So, oh, I'm so happy with how those gratings have given like the shimmery night sky look it actually has come out really well and I was a little bit worried when I was first sort of putting them in there if it was going to work or if they were just going to get sort of muddied up with the rest of the black soap <gasps> and here we have our first planetary planetary intergalactic soap <laughs> uh oh that doesn't quite look round hmm maybe it's an asteroid floating in space <laughs> These other ones, though, look like moons or something. Oh, and there's even like a little red log in there. Oh, that's so cool. I'm really, really chuffed with how they came out, considering that I didn't have a whole lot of hope and I was a little bit worried. I think these actually turned out really awesome and I'm really, really chuffed with them. I hope you enjoyed watching me make them. <laughs> Smile. 
Until I get home to you, to you, to you. You say we are better off this way. I had such faith. Tears from my eyes. Each day I think of you. It's the decent thing to do. Until In case you couldn't tell, I'm kind of obsessed with this soap. <laughs> it's got activated charcoal, which is really good for the skin. It has a beautiful earthy scent. It looks amazing. It ticks all the boxes, and I'm feeling pretty chuffed with myself right now. <laughs> so thank you for watching me make it. I hope you enjoyed it. And this week, I'd like to highlight Marcia Silva and her gorgeous, edible-looking food soaps that she's been sharing in our group, Star Soaps Family, over on Facebook. She makes these soaps that look just like real cakes and real cookies and macaroons, and oh my gosh, they look delicious. Well done, Marcia. If you'd like your photo to be highlighted, then come and join the group and share them with us. I've been feeling lately like you guys haven't been sharing as much pictures and I miss it because I love seeing what you create. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did then hit that subscribe button, become a member of the Star Soaps family and feel the soapy love. Bye! It's the decent thing to do Until